Hey gang, Jack Allaire here. Uh, just responding to uh, AT1138's and Darren Walshock's uh, video, Top 3 Tuesday, about the top three games that we want the most in our collection, or something thereafter. Now, there were a few cheats that I was going to go with. Decided to just go with straight up video games that I want back in my collection. Number one, starting out with uh, Killer Instinct Gold. I actually liked the Killer Instinct series. I loved it as a fighting game. It was really fun. It was also just hilarious to get them to say Ultra Combo. And Killer Instinct 2 was an arcade game that I really fell in love with. Wanted to play it more and more and more. But it never got a home release. The best we got was more Killer Instinct Gold. So, that's number three. Number two is a game that I played as a child, never understood, and that is Task Times in Tone Town. Now it's a adventure game where you get sucked into an alternate dimension, and there's all kinds of stuff going on, and you've got the a copy of the Task Times. And what that is is that it's or no, is it even that? I don't even remember. Maybe your task. I don't I don't know, but you had a newspaper that came with it and you had to like flip through the newspaper to figure out what was going on. And then you had to like solve clues, wander around, help people out, you had to get solve the puzzles. There were ID cards that you had to fake to get access to certain stuff. It was a mess, but cool at the same time. So that's number two. Number one is the game that I have been hunting for, and I I found it online, but it's a tad pricey. It's not some great, wonderful game. It's just a game that I remember playing and I remember loving, and that is War Song for the Genesis. Forgot to mention, Task Time for Tone Town, the version I played was the Commodore 64 version, because that's what I had back then. Now, back to Warsong. For those who don't know, it's called another name uh, in the Japanese release, and there were apparently many of these uh, in Japan. But essentially what it was is you were in charge of different units. You would move the units around the map, and whenever the units would come into contact with other enemy units, there would be ten guys on each side. And like, let's say we've got knights over here and we've got archers over here. The archers are going to go blink, blink, blink and try and shoot some of the knights. Some of the knights are going to die and they're going to go Bruh! And the other knights are going to ride in the little horses brum, 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 and kick the holy crap out of the archers. But it was one-on-one -on -one combat. So the knights would kick the crap out of the archers, but there were, if the archers killed one of the knights, then there would be some of the archers left. And then you would be able to go round to round. Now also, on the big world map, if your archers were, say, up a hill, then the knights wouldn't do as much damage climbing up the hill, so they might not kill off as many archers. Anyways, it's a game that I've been hunting for for quite some time. I haven't seen it in the wild. I've seen it on Amazon. I've seen it on eBay. But the price is just... Uh, I don't know. 40 bucks for a game like just a cartridge that looks in really rough shape just seems a bit much to me I mean it is a game yes I can emulate it I know that but I love the feel of the controller in my hand and watching it on I still have a CRT TV I have two of them that I play games on just because that's what they were designed to be playing on it would be kinda like someone saying why well, yes you can you can emulate that Vectrex on your it wouldn't be the same. But uh, those are my top three. Just to recap, uh, number three, Killer Instinct Gold for the Nintendo 64. Uh, number two, Task Times in Tone Town. It's just fun to say. And it was a great game. Came with a newspaper and everything. And it came out on a few different systems. I did some research, so I don't know what I would be able to play it on, if anything, now. And the last one, War song for the Genesis. So, uh, there are my top three. 
Thank you very much, Ed and Darren. And for me, as always, play on. Hi, I'm a monkey. I'm looking at the blank thing with the doobie job so that we can make it not wide, but stored. And... <laughs>